think we're live. I think we're live. Let's see here. Yep, we're live. Live, everybody. Live on my channel. What's up, Aurora? You are indeed first. Vapex is here. What's up, Vapex? So we are... I said I was going to try and do this more often. What's up, Yonka? Why aren't you over watching Nick Divine? I saw he just went live, too. Just got my notification that Nick is live. <clears throat> nice. Six times doing the survey. James Capose, what's going on? V Dog. Mike in LA, what up, man? Kippers Clouds. Up late. I said I was going to try and do this more often. I said I was going to try and jump on later. I know, right, Ambeto? What's up, Socrates? Church, Kimmy Babes. What's up, Kimmy? How you doing, girl? In that case, later. Uh, 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 Yeti's uncle. Yeti's uncle. He's out posing with the kitten. He's out, he's out getting his pose on for those for those photographs. We'll get uh, we'll get stuff going again on Wednesday. But um, I'm just gonna be reposting the same one that I posted just a little bit ago uh, for the next couple days. It's the flavor survey, everybody. Flavor survey time. Obviously, you guys need to uh, go and do your part. What's up, Paul? Excellent, Kimmy's peachy. Heck yeah. Not quite midnight here. Not quite midnight here. So, yeah, if you guys can switch to new IP addresses, you can keep doing the survey to get more responses, get more data out there. Um, obviously, we're going to keep pushing it all the way through. All the way through. Along the Yeti, Yeti and Cameo flavor survey post. Yes. That's right. Hey, Luke Snow. Uh, vaping and Vibes with Tom. What's up, Tom? Benjamin Oren's here. What's up, Ben? Changed my IP and did it for you. Nice. Big Country TV. What's happening, Big Country? Church is here. What up, Church? American Liberty. Only took eight attempts to reach the end of the flavor survey instead of getting some enter password page. Interesting. I, did, I never got to the enter password page. It just went straight to the end. What's up, Kevin K? Yeah, it's early for you, man. Here's flavor-free liquid, so don't give a shit. Well, well, Castella. <laughs> so, what's going on out there, everybody? What is happening? Who else got questions for fresh? What's up, Jesse? What is happening? That is a good question. What is happening? I'm waiting for people to start asking me questions so I can help them with recipes. Exactly, church. Exactly. If you have a VPN, just keep changing your location. Do the survey again. What's the best percentage to use Caps Juicy Peach? Um, usually I do 2% of that and 2% of Flavora White Peach. Or not Flavor, uh, Flavor Art White Peach. I usually do 2 and 2. And that gives me a really nice peach. If you want, you can slip like a little tangerine or apricot in there too. TFA actually makes pretty makes pretty good uh, tangerine that you can slip in there at like 1%. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, I usually do two and two. I, I, I usually don't use that flavor by itself. It's throaty as hell. Not like the not like the flavor of peach is much better, but it's a it's an improvement <laughs> over the cap. The cap is nuts. What's up, Shindo? How you doing, man? What did Luke Snow call you? I need to look that up. First person to call Shindo. You call what you call him? Shindog. Nice. We'll start calling you Shindog if you want. Is it possible to get that thro throaty of it out of your liquid? Yes, meet the press. Um, all you need to do is steep it for a really, really long time. Really, really long time. Uh, what did Red Fox ask me? I've never done DIY before. What's the best place to start? Get ingredients. That you might need. Um, I'll give you two places. Best place to start for the knowledge on what ingredients and equipment you need. Um, New Amsterdam Vapes did a really, really awesome, really awesome beginner video. Um, so I would go check out New Amsterdam Vapes uh, beginner DIY video. He drops a lot of knowledge there. Uh, I've done a beginner I've done a beginner DIY video. Wayne's done uh, a bunch of beginner DIY videos. 
that'll get you started on kind of what the supplies you're going to need are. Um, and then a good place to go, I'll give you two. I'll give you two. Liquid Barn has a really, really nice starter kit for their DIY. And then uh, Nicotine River. Nicotine River has a really, really nice st um, starter kit. Or you can just look at the look at what everybody's saying to get and just kind of price it out individually. Um, if you're looking to get, if you're looking to get um, like a scale, Amazon's going to be your best bet for scales on a decent price. Um, there's there's a bunch of different scales, but the AWS uh, is it 501 LB? I think it's the L, uh, I think it's the 501 LB. Somebody correct me. Somebody correct me. I'm sure someone will correct me. But um, yeah, that's going to be your best bets. Is watch a couple videos, see if it looks even mildly interesting, because DIY can bore the hell out of some folks, and they'll spend a bunch of money, and then they'll just get irritated that uh, we told them to go spend a bunch of money. So yeah, it's uh, it's a big money saver uh, as long as you don't go diving off the diving into the flavor black hole where you're buying every new flavor that you can get. Uh, saying coming from the guy who's over a thousand flavors at this point. Um, and still more coming, always more coming, because I'm always missing something for something, something for some note that I need or some suggestion that somebody throws out there. I'm always missing something. So, yeah, as long as you don't dive into flavor black hole, you'll actually save quite a bit of money. You know, being able to mix yourself up a 30 mil bottle of liquid for you know anywhere from 75 cents to a buck fifty, depending on what flavors you're using, compared to you know 20, 30 bucks. It's a hell of a savings. All the savings, but I would suggest Liquid Barn. Their starter kit's really nice, and then Nicotine River uh, has a really nice has a really nice starter kit as well. So I'm gonna scroll back up, scroll back up, try and catch questions as they were coming out here. Uh, let's see here. Working on a cinnamon Danish swirl. Obviously, you have cap Danish and swirl. What would you recommend for a filling? Uh, Benjamin Oren, if you're looking for cream cheese icing, Lorance cream cheese icing, or one-on-one's vanilla custard cheesecake is really nice. Really, really nice. Um, I, would rec I would actually recommend the vanilla custard cheesecake. It's a little bit, you actually get a little bit of the cheesecake, the slight cheesecake to it, but it actually works really, really nicely. Works really, really nicely. It takes less time to steep than the Lorance. Lorance cream cheese icing takes forever to steep. Um, I mean, if you're looking to like stick apples or in it or something, um, Perlium has a country apple flavor that's a nice baked apple. Um, Flavora has that apple filling. Flavora's apple filling is amazing. Amazing. But that'd be my suggestion, uh, at least for your filling, would be the, uh, would be that, uh, would be the uh, vanilla custard cheesecake by one-on-one -on -one flavors. Uh, Paul Messmore wants a... Creamy peanut butter or a sour watermelon chew. The sour watermelon chew, you're probably better asking Zesty. Zesty's better at the candy flavors than I am. Way better than I am at the candy flavors. Um, but the peanut butter, I got peanut butter for you. It's 2%, 2% uh, flavor peanut butter, 2% of TPA peanut butter, half a percent of sweet coconut by Flavora, and one drop per 30 mil of Sunseed by Flavor Express. That's a really, really nice peanut butter base. Uh, uh, if the reason most are trying DIY to save money, why are people searching for clones? Looked at with such anger. Um, I don't know that we look at it with anger. I think people just, you know, they're, they're, I don't think there's anything wrong with hunting a clone, um, making something. I mean, you're never going to hit their recipe. You're never, you're never going to hit their recipe. Um, so you just make an approximation. You make something that you like rather than theirs. I don't, I tend not to look down on making clones. I just won't do it on my channel. Um, the reason, so the reason I won't do it on my channel, uh, American Liberty is that the people who make really, really good e-liquid, they're the ones that put all that work into that recipe, all the research, um, or it could be a ghost mixer behind the scenes. Could be someone like Wayne or Concrete or Shindo. Could be all these. Could or uh, you know Koppel, um, Jennifer Jarvis. It could be all these awesome people putting a lot of work into this recipe. And I don't do it on my channel because I respect the work that goes into a really really good e-liquid recipe. Um, 
and that's that's why that's why I just don't want I just don't want to infringe on somebody's work. Now I'll, I will certainly you know if someone says hey you know I want the I want a um, oh this 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 flavor profile has a, it's a cantaloupe custard or something crazy like that. You know I can give you an approximation of what I would do. I I wouldn't I I just don't chase people's recipes. It's just not how I roll. I've got enough. I've got enough time up in my brain to uh, chase my own recipes. I don't need to be chasing somebody else's. I've got enough problems, man. Um, what's up, Greg Pastruck? Happy birthday to Greg. Happy birthday to Greg. Happy late birthday, the ranch. Knock some trolls out with your ranch. Um. How do I best use cup of joe? Start low. That's how you use cup of joe. Or throw it out the window and get in and wear a coffee. One of the two. One of the two. But lower the lower you can start those coffees, the better off. Better off you could go. Uh, and Beto's take. Are you off for the night? Or someone saying they're someone saying they're bed. Oh, and Beto, have a good one, Ambeto. Five hundred one LB. Perfect. Are there any real flavors that are must-haves? Their cookies and cream is really good. Uh, their super concentrate cookies and cream. It tastes like the chocolate cookie from an Oreo. So, yes, get that. Real flavors, uh, cookies and cream, super concentrate. Um, as far as super concentrates go, that's kind of it, in my opinion. Their cinnamon custard's amazing. I haven't tried the super concentrate of it, or if there is a super concentrate of it. Um... But yeah, other than that, I, I really, I mean, there's flavors that you can use that are at least equivalent or better in most cases, uh, with real flavors, flavors, um, their owner is a really, really good guy. Their owner is a really, really good guy. So I, I kind of hate saying, saying stuff like that about it, but you know, they've got, if you, if, if you see something in a recipe, look around your cabinet before you go out and buy it. That's what I would say. See if you have something that's kind of equivalent. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Why do all the mixing shows have to add some kind of a cream or unusual flavor like cucumber? Because um, cream helps mixes. Cream creams help mixes. Um, they help blend things. It's a really nice blending agent. I mean, it's not every it's not everything, but creams just go so well with everything that we tend to you know if you've got success in in if you. Hi, Ivana. Ivana's tearing ass around this house, around this house. Um, but yeah, as uh, that's why that's why creams make a really nice blending agent. Um, like your whipped creams and Bavarian creams, they even go really nicely with fruits. So, um, Catalan cream, Catalan cream is something that we I don't think we use enough of. It's a really nice spicy cream, but it actually goes well with almost every fruit, um, and it helps it helps blend everything. It helps take sharp notes off the edges, you know. Um, you don't have to put cucumber in everything. Cucumber is a nice flavor if you're looking to clear your palate out. Uh, I certainly don't put cucumber in everything, but um, I mean it's 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 all down to that person's mixing style. It depends on what level of sophistication they're trying to get to, what level of recipe they're working on. Um, you know, some people just go fancy schmancy. That's all there is to it. Um, me, I tend to be like the blunt hammer of DIY. Like I, I like my custards. I like my creams. I like my desserts. Um, I've got some fruits that I really enjoy and generally you'll see me kind of gravitating around those. Uh, I'm not afraid to jump out of my, uh, my comfort zone in most cases, but if somebody asks me for, for help with something, I, I, I've got enough experience with almost, almost everything that I can at least give you, get you in the ballpark as far as advice goes on DIY and flavors. But I don't do things strangely for the sake of doing things strangely. Um, just because a lot of those recipes, they don't cross my mind when I want to mix something for myself. Now, if I see somebody doing something really cool, I'll certainly go out and try it and take what I can from it. Or if I really enjoy the recipe, I'll just vape that recipe down, maybe mix some more. Um, but that's, that's why, that's why cream, cream goes really nicely with pretty much everything. Uh, is Perlium Heaven good on its own? It's a little light to be good on its own, but yeah. Cucumber's a little light, to, or uh, Heaven's a little light to be on its own, but I mean, you could certainly, you could certainly vape it if you want to, on its own. Um, let me look up 
Where did it go? What about Stix Mix coffees? I don't have any Stix Mix coffees. I couldn't tell you anything about them. Ask um, um, Jen the Juice Fairy. Jen the Juice Fairy. She's done a lot of it. What's up, Jeffrey? Is Raven here? Which Raven here? Raven Shadow or... There's two Ravens. It's Raven Shadow. What's up, Raven Shadow? Um, trying to find where we were here. Or church is dropping the survey. Thank you, church. Without buying a specific, specific one shot, is it possible to get flavors that are good to mix up alone? Yeah. Um, a lot of flavors are good to mix on their own. Capella is usually pretty good. Wonder Flavor is usually pretty good like that. Real flavors, um, their super concentrates tend to, tend to lean towards that. Uh, tend to lean towards one shots. Um, DIY Flavor Shack, their, their flavors tend to be really complex. Liquid Barns, some of theirs can be really complex by themselves. Um, it makes them difficult to work with in a mix, but it's it's um, it makes it difficult to work with in a mix, but you can vape it by itself. Uh, the Devon Creams that have been coming out, a lot of people have really been liking the Devon Creams by themselves. <laughs> Trying to find out where we left off. Everybody's giving some thumbs up. Is Don here? What up, Don, if you're out there? Pin, which is better, shaking or using a mixer? Um, I mean, you'll get a more thorough mix off of a off of a mixer, but I mean, shaking if you shake it long enough, you got some good arms. Shaking's plenty fine. Uh, no problem, Red Fox. No problem, Red Fox. Dag, um, you guys are asking a ton of questions. Let's see. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. Hi, Don. Love you. Don's the best. Don from Dory Liquid is the best. I believe she's doing something special for those that have uh, completed the flavor survey. So if you want to go over to a Dory Liquid, send her proof that you did your that you did your flavor survey. You might get something special. Uh, there we go. Uh, I've done some seriously sweet vapes. Never had any trouble with numbers because you'll be inhaling it, not eating it. Okay. Think cloning is a great exercise? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I agree, Shindo. Shindog. I agree, Shindog. Um, selling a, selling, trying to put a clone together and to, for commercial purposes, that's absolutely terrible. But, you know, if you're trying to break down somebody's flavors for what they're using in it, I mean, generally, if you've been a DIYing long enough, you can pick out one or two flavors at the very least in most liquids. Uh, a lot of the commercial liquids only have one or two flavors in them, so... No problem, American Liberty. Uh, I'm a nobody in the world, and even I did my part. That's all right. Uh, there you go. Shindos must have real, fl must have flavors. Depends on how bad you want white bread. I mean, uh, bread crust flavor or bread crust is pretty nice. Um, it smells like garbage, but it works. It works as a, works as a bread. Um, pain grill, pain grill works as a bread. That's more toasty, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Wayne does some, Wayne does some fantastic, uh, not clones, but remixes of the flavor profile to what he would like during his remix months. So check out Wayne's remix months. Those are always awesome. Always, always awesome. Uh, there's the sticks mix coffee question. Uh, Shindo's out there asking, answering questions too. Good, good. So crates, I'm still waiting on the caramel covered strawberry cheesecake souffle recipe. Um, I mean, one on one makes a strawberry souffle. Then you just add some New York cheesecake, uh, some salted caramel by Flavor West, a little bit of Flavor West butterscotch, um, probably a little more strawberry because that strawberry souffle is kind of it's a little weak on the strawberry. Maybe add like one percent of juicy strawberry to that. There you go. There you go. There's your. There's your. It's not a complete recipe, but I can point you in the right direction. Uh, Shindo hates all grapes. Uh, Concord grape by Flavor Art and grape juice by TFA, generally. And uh, the Bilberry Wild, and the Shisha. The Bilberry Wild and the Shisha, Shisha Black Kern are kind of kind of grapey from Vape Train. If you're looking for grapes, I have coffee. I have coffee one on order. The wrench reviews. Fingers crossed. That's right, Church. You did miss. 
Ivana is in savage mode. Now she's she's run herself tired now. She's just hanging out by my foot, staring up at me, saying, oh, man, why? Why are you on the internets again? Pressure anyone, top three coffee flavors. Number one's Inawara coffee. Number two is... Number two would be... Um, flavor art black bean espresso or dark bean espresso um, that you have to use super duper low and then for number three flavor west hazelnut because you can use it as a coffee and it's a very versatile flavor uh, there we go Anyone know how I can change my nickname? Um, it's an option in YouTube somewhere, James. What advice would you give to someone just starting in DIY? Um, start simple, find a recipe that looks good, that's a highly rated recipe, find a popular recipe, buy those flavors, give it a try. Um, you know, watch some videos before you really get into it, before you really get into it. That'd be my advice. Uh, don't go, don't jump in head first. Take it easy. Get in the pool nice and slow. Uh, what are some good flavors for trying to make an apple pie? Capella's apple pie is really nice. Um, the apple flavor, the apple filling by Flavora. I put that in all of my apple pie mixes now. All of them. Just because it's so perfect. So perfect. Um, Perlium, has a, Perlium has a country apple. That's a nice baked apple type flavor. You could use that if you wanted. Devon cream goes well with jams. Excellent. I'm starting to catch up. Uh, I like real flavors. Carrot cake. One on one makes a decent carrot cake. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have any icing. Uh, you could use the vanilla custard cheesecake as your ass icing at one. I was about to call it assing. Um, as your icing at 1.5%. Uh, it makes a really nice cream cheese icing. Don, is it true? What is what true, Don? I'm starting to catch it up though. James Capozzi is a type 2 diabetic. Nice. Not nice, but vaping will help with that. You can get your you can get your sweet fix without getting without going into sweets. Oh, I'm on top chat instead of all chat. There's the problem. There's that problem right there. That's why I'm not seeing Dawn. I bet she's out there. Hi, Dimlin! I'm scrolling back up. Now I'm scrolling back up again, everybody. There you go. Vaping with James is actually rocking an e-pipe at a moment. Nice. So I may have missed a question or two. Uh, if I didn't catch your question, if I didn't catch your question, um, just ask it again as I'm scrolling down here. What's my favorite drink mix outside of lemonade? Um, Flavora teas. The Flavora teas are awesome, including their lemon tea. I really, I really, really dig their teas. The the uh, acai tea, or is it, where's it at, Isai tea, yeah, Isai tea, I would think it's pronounced acai tea, um, the green tea, the black tea, the red tea, they're, all of them are, all of them are absolutely lovely, all of them are absolutely lovely, the acai is kind of a matcha, so if you put the, the green tea and the uh, acai tea together, do like, 1.5% of green and half a percent of uh, acai. You'll get a really, really nice. Uh, fresh heard from Gizzy lately? Yes. Giz is, comp he's having big problems with his computer, and that's why he hasn't been on shows. Uh, is the Anywhere Coffee also called Coffee WG? I think it is. Um, if you go to DIY Vapor Supply, look at, DIY Vapor Supply has it. Um, but the one, I because I, I bought it from them and it was just listed as in a wear coffee, just straight up. Uh, top vanilla bean ice creams. Uh, top vanilla bean ice creams are uh, Liquid Barn vanilla ice cream. I think it's the best. It's the richest. It's got the, I think it's got the best flavor. Closest to ice cream. Uh, then I would say Capella's. Uh, Capella's has a little bit of a butter note. So if you may not you're not looking for that you may not like it tfa makes a decent it, it i'm not decent it's not that's not a good name for it it's 
it's a it's a good vanilla vanilla bean ice cream flavor. It needs a little work to kind of to kind of find its depth, but it's not it's certainly not bad. Certainly not bad. Flavor West makes one that's it's sweeter than I like, but Flavor West makes a decent vanilla bean ice cream. I actually got griped at on a video once about that. Um, I got oh man, that dude was pissed. Pissed. He was calling my mom names about because I said I didn't because I didn't list uh, Flavor West Vanilla Bean Ice Cream as one of my top, one of my top uh, vanilla ice cream flavors. Uh, what would you do to make a good blackberry flavor? I'm thinking Hanson Blueberry. Hanson Blueberry would work nice. Uh, skip the TFA Boysenberry. Grab Flavora Boysenberry. It's a be way better one. Um, skip the Capella Blackberry and grab the uh, Flavor West Blackberry. But that's what I would do, JFM. Uh, the secret, because I, I when I make my blackberry stuff, I just use Flavor West blackberry and Flavor boysenberry. That's all I. That's all I use. Uh, great recipe for beginners is yoga berries from all the flavors. Thanks, Pepperman. I enjoy. I really like yoga berry myself. It's fantastic. How much mouth to lung versus how does mouth to lung versus direct lung affect flavors? Uh, it depends on your build more than anything that depend it really depends on your build uh, your build's gonna make the the big difference um, typically the mouth to lung you'll get more flavor off like a mouth to lung device if your build's right um, but you know you get a ton of flavor from you know just blasting yourself like 120 watts with you know dual frame staple you know something ma some madness so it's really it's really really up to you and it's up to you the builder it's up to you to make that add what whatever you find works for you works for you. Um, K funds are fantastic. I mean, a lot of the old a lot of the old atomizers were fantastic for it. For, were just fantastic for it. Um, but there you go, everybody. What's up, Tauros? There we go. I think I'm caught up. Cool. I'm caught up again for a minute. Scott Stivers. Sorry, I can't watch internet's wonky. Live streams, watch a replay. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer tomorrow morning. Uh, looking for a flavor like puff pastry. Any suggestions? Um, you can build a puff pastry. Uh, croissant. Croissant. Croissant, everybody. Uh, by Wonder Flavors. It's a nice approximation. Then you can just manipulate it from there. Uh, croissant by Wonder Flavors. It's one of their super concentrates. It's absolutely wonderful. It's heavy on the butter, but it man, is it good. Uh, da, 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 saw it too yet. He was just trying to Google the answer. Berserker, the berserker. Everybody really likes the berserker. Uh, everybody that's gotten the berserker has really, really dug it. Uh, can you get me close to Suicide Bunnies Derailed, which is a banana snickerdoodle cookie? Um, who makes snickerdoodle? Somebody makes a really good snickerdoodle cookie flavor. Shindo, help me, help me, Shindog. Um, but they actually sell their own banana. Uh, if I was going to use another banana for that, I would probably use banana bread, TFA banana bread, because you get a baked banana flavor. And then I know there's somebody that makes a decent, not decent, they actually make a pretty good snickerdoodle. Is it Liquid Barn? I think Liquid Barn makes it. I think it's Liquid Barn snickerdoodle. I, I'm looking at my bakeries right now. Like I can see past the first row of flavors. But yeah, I would do that. Uh, I think it's, yeah, Liquid Barn. Liquid Barn Snickerdoodle. What are some good... Uh, let me scroll back up here before I get into that one, because I'll be... Liquid Barn, if it sounds appealing, uh, go ahead and grab it. It's probably going to wind up being pretty pretty solid at the very least. Um, I haven't found anything I, I really disliked from them. Uh, their Lava Cake, their Vanilla Ice Cream, and their Blue Raz are a absolute must-haves. So, I can tell you those three. High temps seem to make liquids too sweet. There you go. Might be getting more of the maltols out by breaking the liquid down like that. There we go. So yeah, Dustin Singer. Um, those are the three I would say that you have to have. the Their lava cake, their vanilla ice cream, and their blue raz. But I mean, I really haven't had a bad flavor from Liquid Barn yet. So I'm sure someone will, sure some, someone will hook me right up. Uh, what's a good flavor site you can purchase... 
Uh, what is a good flavor site for purchase and what's a good site for like recipes? Uh, Roy French, I use DIY Vapor Supply more than pretty much anybody at this point. Um, just because they generally have, they have a lot of the things that I'm out looking for. Um, Nicotine River is a really good site as well. Uh, they take a little, they take a little longer to ship than uh, a lot of the other, than the other places. But DIY Vapor Supply is so fast. Uh, E-Cig Express is incredibly fast as well. Um, those are some really, those, I, I, those are probably my top three sites for going and ordering stuff. Uh, you can get Shindo's Mango Sticky Rice over on eSig Express, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, everybody. Um, and then, uh, good, re, good site recipes, or good sites for recipes. Um, e-liquid-recipes.com is, uh, that one's been around the longest. They've just got volumes of information you get lost in there for days and all the flavors all the flavors you do have to pay for but it's a little bit cleaner site um like people don't people you know recipes where people someone's doing something crazy with like 50 percent kind of gets that kind of get that they take that into account when they're doing their flavor percentages so it's um it's a little bit better curated site uh you can customize how your recipe looks uh, it, the, both of them are excellent sites, though. You're not going to go wrong with either of them. Just uh, e-liquid-recipes.com is free. So if you're just looking to get in, you're not you don't want to make the investment in the in the uh, all the flavors. There you go. There you go. When you store your flavors, when you store your flavors, uh, tastes or branding, uh, tastes. Uh, I do fruits. I do fruits, bakeries and creams, and everything else. All the unusual stuff all goes together. So that's how I organize my flavors, if you can call it organization. It's not really organization, just everything's kind of in its section. And I generally have an idea kind of where things are supposed to be. What's up, Andre Roth? Uh, da, 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 da. Just starting mix, what are some of the must-have for dessert flavors and bakery flavors? Um... Desserts, um, a liquid that liquid barn, I would, the liquid barn lava cake, the their vanilla ice cream. Um, Capella makes some really really nice desserts. Uh, their lemon meringue pie is really nice. Their apple pie, you can vape their apple pie by itself. I put other things in it just because I'm, uh, I want more. But um, for bakeries, uh, your cinnamon Danish swirl is going to be really nice. Um, because it's just it has a fantastic cinnamon in it. Uh, Flavor West cinnamon roll. If you're looking for just straight cinnamon, just straight cinnamon roll. Um, it's a little bit heavier on the cinnamon than the cinnamon Danish swirl. Um, TPA pie crust has a little bit of a burnt flavor to it. Um, Baker's Touch, Liquid Barn Baker's Touch, is actually it's kind of a light cinnamon roll, but it works really well for pie crusts. Um, pastry Zest by Flavora is really nice for your pastries. Um, Flavor West yellow cake it'll it'll damage your coils it'll turn them black in a couple days but it's it's a nice flavor jungle flavors yellow cake um, Flavor of pound cake I'm just staring at my shelf here um, Innerware biscuit if you can find the I if you can find the pre reformulation TFA I, the vanilla bean gelato is nice to have it's a nice it's a nice versatile flavor to have. That's what I got for you off the top of my head right now. Uh, Gremlin, Gremlin's a good site. Bull City is is a good site. Uh, the Cappuccino's good. Yeah, their white chocolate and their white cho uh, their white chocolate peppermint is amazing. Uh, Flavor makes a really nice white chocolate too. I th thought I saw someone asking about white chocolate earlier. Uh, what percent of normal nicotine is good for pod system to feel good? Um, I don't really use regular nicotine in pod systems, so I don't know, 6%, 6, per, 6 milligram, if you vape 3, um, you're still going to wind up at the throat, it, there's my pod system, I'm vaping 3 in this, in my Infinix. But this is, uh, that's also Nick Salt's. That's Nick Saltz. Uh, 
Let's see. PG Base Nick. That's what I use. And TPA Pycrest Pi sucks. It's got its uses, Shindo. Don't deny it. Yeah, they reformulate everything. Pink Mule for tobaccos. Yeah. See this thing? This thing's been auto-firing. Is something wrong with my... See, I think this thing's... Hmm. My overpriced Infinix is, is giving me issues. Let's do a quick test. Now it's saying it needs charged. Whatever, Infinix. I'm done with you for the night. <laughs> Let's see here. White chocolate isn't chocolate. It's it is not. It's a vanilla. It's a vanilla chocolate. So it's not a true. It's not a milk chocolate. It's a vanilla flavor. I have to get some Nixalt. Twenty milligrams seems weak. See, and the most I vape in it, in one is a fourteen. Uh, I'm, I've got some. I've got some liquids from Detroit that are 50, and that's going to be a nightmare for me to test and review, but I've got them. Be taking long breaks between each vape. Or some good fruits for desserts and bakeries. Um, the apple filling is really is really good. Uh, juicy strawberry works really nicely. Um, you're going to want something like pomegranate or blackcurrant to, to kind of gelatinize it. Forest fruit works really nicely for that too. A flavor art, um, black flavorless blackberry. Uh, it's mostly going to be your artificial tasting fruits. Mostly going to be your artificial tasting fruits that are that are going to work better in your bakeries and your desserts. Um, TPA strawberry is good for desserts. I usually still throw a little bit of ripe in with it if I'm going to use that. Um, Red touch works really nicely, even though it's it's a bit more authentic. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, any of the artificial tasting fruits are, are pretty solid for, for your bakeries. Um, Inaware Raspberry is good for it. The Molina Concentrat. I was looking around. I'm just looking around. Um, Perlium Watermelon is good for, good for your desserts. That's not really a bakery flavor, but if you're looking to put some watermelon in it. Um, Fresh, if I have a question or concerns, I'm just going to harass you on the Insta Grizzles. Fair enough, Socrates. What do I do for a job? I'm an ear, nose, and throat technician. Um, designated survivor for a while. Have a good one, JFM. What's up, Daedalus? How you doing, man? All right, more questions. More questions. Keep them coming, everybody. What time is it? Nice. You guys got me for about 25 more minutes. I think at the top of the hour, I will stop, but... Uh, you can old ego pen with Muji the pod system seems weak that the vape is better can feel the nicotine okay yeah that's that's gonna be because of the build that's in there um, these pod systems have all sorts of crazy little builds in them you love the new format on Friday show nice so crates yeah everybody if you haven't checked out the the how we changed up the Friday show it's a it's a, called Fresh from Concentrates. Uh, in the first episode we had Wayne from DIY or Die on. Um, this next week is going to be a fun one. This next week is going to be a lot of fun too. Um, you'll see how the builder shows are going to work. So we're doing a builder show on Friday. How's knee doing from your bike accident? Um, I mean the scar's still tender to the touch, but it's I got full motion. Doesn't seem to be any structural damage, anything like that. So what's your advice key to making a great dessert mix? Uh, depends on the type of dessert, man. What are, what are you looking to try and put together? Um, start low, work your way up. What's your what's a good build on the Wasp Nano? Uh, because of my testing RDA, I use uh, single. Fl uh, I use a fuse Clapton stainless steel. Um, 
I believe it's a six wrap. Seven wrap. Seven wrap, it comes out to a point three on the nose. I usually vape it. I vape it anywhere from 30 watts all the way up to this thing can only do 80 watts, so I take it all the way up to 80, but generally I'll keep it around 55. That's kind of a nice middle place. Mmm. Oh, that's that, that's that Addy Tuning Custard. <laughs> Addy 2018. Um, before you became a DIY guru, when you tested your recipes, did you set up a bunch of Addies or did you rewick a lot? I just rewicked. I just rewicked. Chot, cotton's, cotton, and I'm lazy, so cotton's cheaper, and I just, I have alcohol pads, and I just wipe out the inside of the atomizer. That was the best way to get it. Um, but yes, that's exactly what I did. You start low with those really strong recipes and you push them as hard as you can until you don't, until you don't like what you're getting or you push it past where, where you don't like what you're getting in the case of somebody that, you know, if I get liquids in for a review, someone talks me into it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I start low and I try and I try because flavors change so much as you push those temperatures up. So it's a matter of finding what I liked on it. Um, and then it also gives you better ideas of what's what's in the liquid. You can find the different layers that are hiding in there. Um, like you tend to taste, you, down lower you tend to taste those back notes. And as you push higher, you lose a lot of those back notes. You lose a lot of the subtlety to the liquid. And you start picking up um, what, they were, what, the, what they were trying to push up front. So if you start low, you can find the things that they were trying to hide in the mix. And then as you push up, those kind of fade away and you get, you know, more of the flavor of the mix. Uh, no baki or pudding filled hard cut, hard crust wrap. Um, so for pudding, obviously you need vanilla pudding. Vanilla pudding's really nice. Uh, that's Flavora, Flavora vanilla pudding. And then hard crust wrap. Hard crust wrap. I would probably use a little bit of croissant and a little bit of pie crust to get what I was looking for. That's what that's what my brain tells me that'd be the first place I would uh that would be the first place that I would start. Uh what's your favorite dessert vapes? Strawberry lemon meringue pies. Uh I do not uh I do not listen to Ray. I started mixing I actually began to like strawberry vapes but also banana vapes. I used to not like either. Yeah, as you can customize your recipes, it, it, it just gets better. It just gets better. Uh, Ashley Brown, what are the specs for your Fuse Clapton? Ask Yeti's uncle. Yeti's uncle, what are the specs on my Fuse Clapton, man? I get them from, I get them from him. He sends me boxes of stuff. He sends me... I, I put an order in for like a couple sets of coils, and he just sends me a, a boatload of stuff. But your uncle's an amazing guy. Yellow Cape Dragon Fruit Strawberry Whipped Cream and a little bit of marshmallow. Just came up with off the top of my head. That would be nice, Daedalus. That would be really nice. Uh, this one will be Andre Roth. This one will be. Because uh, I'm not playing music. Uh, no Bake Cookie. Like a fried crust with chocolate pudding. I did a chocolate pudding recipe. You just have to find your fried crust. Whatever sort of fried crust you're looking for, man. Uh, who's soulfully playing behind me? Ivana? Ivana, where are you? Where'd you go? She's probably back using the litter box. She, no, she's over here. She's on her bed. I put a bed on the shelf, on the bottom shelf over here. She really likes it. She really likes it because she can hang out, be part of the streams without actually being on the streams. And I think she, I think she figures I probably can't pull her out of here and drag her onto a stream. So that's it's probably a smart choice. Probably a smart choice. Let's see. Did the BTA pudding taste as good as it smelled? I only saw you smelling it. Uh, it tastes really, really good, but you got to kind of. Uh, 
you kind of have to be aware of what it's going to do. It's buttery and it, it acts a lot like AP. Like it tastes, it tastes a lot like acetyl pyrazine. Um, so you have to kind of be aware of what it's going to do. But it's sm it smells amazing and it vapes amazing, assuming that you get a good combination with it. Um, if you're looking to put it in, like it, it works with almost every bakery flavor I've tried. It just works. Thank you, Shaq. Thank you, Shaq. I will get that. Uh, I'll get that to the Pink Lung Brigade for you. <laughs> Dozen Singer, yeah, I saw you. I saw you spamming my Instagram, man. Just sitting there, like, what in the world's going on? I was thinking about Avengers, and I was thinking about Westworld. Uh, I don't have any of the. V I have Jam It. That's the only one I have of uh, the Vape Train jams. I've only got Jam It, so I'm, I'll start doing that. Is there any good uh, peanut butter vapes out there that aren't over sweetened? Um, I mean, I made a peanut butter pie that turned out pretty nice. Turned out pretty nice. It needed about three weeks of steeping, though. Here's this. I'll have a little bit of that. Um, but as far as recipes go, um, I'm, most of my peanut butters are, are unsweetened just because I, I like the way it works. Like the, I like the peanuttiness. I like some nuts in my mouth, if you will. Someone can take that and make a gif out of it or whatever you want. Fresh talking about how much he loves nuts in his mouth. Yeah, that peanut butter pie turned out really, really nice. That's right, Costello. Insta what? Instagram. Yeah, I'm on I'm fresh zero one three three on Instagram. Costello. Missing Giz, I had to go through his Instagram. Yeah. Um, he posts some great stuff on Instagram, but to know how to donate to Patreon YouTube's my good man. Um, like I don't have a Patreon, if that's what you're asking. I don't have one. Um, I'd rather you spend your money on supplies or advocacy or something like that. That's what I'd rather you do with your money. Um, but you just go to Patreon, whatever the person's Patreon link, it like, uh, patreon.com slash life of apes. Uh, you can go give some money to Lifea or Mooch, patreon.com slash battery Mooch. Um, you can go donate to them. Battery Mooch and Lifea are both amazing people. Mooch for all the battery safety and Lifea for just being Lifea, for being the nicest guy and the ni one of the nicest guys I know. Mm. Peanut butter pie turned out really, really nice. It just took, it takes forever to steep. That's the that's the thing about peanut butter. You're looking at least a seven day steep. Most likely, it's going to be several weeks before it really comes into doing what it's supposed to do. But uh, if we give you a few shekels to help us save money mi mixing mistakes, then we'll have that much extra former cigarette money for all that stuff I mean I don't I don't I don't if people donate on the if people donate on these streams I just don't I just donate the money um, I just I, I generally will look and see how much I've earned at the end of the month and I'll, I'll cut a check or something but um, yeah that's generally what I do you know I don't I just do this for I just do this because I enjoy it. I enjoy hanging out. I enjoy talking mixing. Uh, what is in your peanut butter pie? Uh, the same thing. The same peanut butter base that, same peanut butter base that I, I told you. Um, the two percent TPA peanut butter, two percent Flavora peanut butter, um, half a percent of Flavora sweet cream, one drop of sun seeds. That's my that's my peanut butter base, and it's it's about a seven day steeper on this one. It took several weeks more. Um, Am I going to West Coast Vape Expo? Yes, Dimlin. Yes, I will be there. Actually, I need to email the the host of it, the the guy who's putting it on. I need to email him. He apparently he wanted to get in touch with me, so I will. I need to do that tomorrow. I always forget. I always forget. Uh, so your flavors after taste them in a juice don't get better. Can you fix it? Certainly. 
Certainly, you can fix the recipe. Um, you know, it's all about... You know, if you don't like how the mix is sitting, you can always add more flavor to it. You can always add more flavor to that, if to, to your mix if you want, but... That's... You know, I, 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 I advise you to start over. I advise you to start over <laughs> on your mix. Um, go back and, and... But... I'd advise you to go. I'd advise you to go back and start the start the mix over and re-steep it. Um, but if you if you found that you don't like it, make two three different versions of it, and then you know try and work out why you didn't like it, and and try and take the parts that you like and move it over to the next version of the mix. And that's that's when you start falling down that mixing rabbit hole. Um, if you're really chasing something hard and you're you're at it for months. But it's uh, it's worth it in the end. It's really worth it in the end when you nail what you're looking for. Thank you, Benjamin Oren. I appreciate that. I appreciate kind words. I try. I try to be a good guy. I really try hard. Uh, check Juarez. That's only because you're sent from the future and you aren't human. No, it's because I, I make it. I make enough money to support myself and my habits, so uh, I prefer to give it to the I prefer to give it to advocacy. Nice Daedalus. Started mixing two weeks into vaping one point seven years. Nice man. Nice. Welcome. Welcome to the DIY side of the house. Uh, started in January with a jewel and found DIY or die pretty quickly. Heard from Fresh and this world famous 20 year old strawberry milkshake on yes in the yard. It's an old recipe for sure. I would do things I would do things differently if I remixed it, but that's a that that recipe is more infamous than famous at this point. <laughs> What's up, sub? Morning, evening for me. Evening. That should have been your Saturday mix, but that blueberry, the blueberry yogurt turned out so nicely. That's all I've got left of the blueberry yogurt. It really, really, it really, really came up nicely. I had a request for to remix the blueberry yogurt, so that's what I did. Sh Shindog. <laughs> Uh, so crates, I'm not a saint. I am, uh, I'm a man who did a lot of bad things in his past. And now that I'm out of my bad places, I'm, I'm really, really trying to be a much, much better person. And I feel a lot better for it. Uh, we'll try to add some more menthol to it. It seems more creamy. Finally nailed, uh... P R Y four custard. What's the P stand for? What time is it here? Uh, ten fifty. Ten fifty p.m. Oh, pistachio R Y four custard. Nice. What'd you wind up using for pistachio? Toasted almond. Did you take my toasted almond suggestion? Or did you just use pistachio cream by Wonder Flavors. <laughs> pistachio cream by Wonder Flavors is the cheat code for pistachio. Even though it's a toasted, it's a toasted almond cream, but it's really nice. TPA at eight freaking percent. No kidding, eight freaking percent. What the hell, man? <laughs> we all done bad things and shady shit. That's how we learn and grow. That's right. That's right. It's one fifty a.m. There. Holy cow! You're over on the East Coast, James. All right. Any other recipe questions? Come on, everybody. Come on. Get them to me. Give me them recipe questions if you got any. You got any? Uh, got anything that you that you need help on or anything? I'm here to help. You got me. You got me. The sound of vaping is like those sleep YouTube videos. Oh, the ASMR videos. Yeah.
That's a wasp nano. Apple pie recipe, uh, 3%. No, I would go 4% Capella's apple pie. Um, 4% Capella's apple pie. 1.5% Flavora apple, apple filling. And then I would probably grab like flavor or cream at half a percent just to just to help everything mix uh, blueberry pomegranate recipe uh, so four percent of the blueberry extra by TFA four percent of the blueberry wild and two percent TPA pomegranate there you go what's your opinion what's colada best use in drinks drink flavors uh, I would prefer to use WS23 it seems like it seems like it's more palatable to me than Kulata is. Doesn't seem to have it, any weird notes that I have to account for. Um, or Polar Blast. It, it, Polar Blast is WS23, I think. Um, pretty sure that's right. Fresh O3. Not a lot up there. <laughs> when you're new, did you try to go crazy creative or you just try and bite a solid all day, babe? I was just trying to mix what Addy Tooney sent me. Um, Addie's Custard, the recipe's out there. It's called Addie's Custard. I was just trying to mix that. And um, after that, I did a mixed berry custard that I completely lost the recipe for that turned out re really nicely. And then I was I was really digging TKO by... Um, TKO by... Oh, I forgot who made TKO. Clutch. Clutch Vapors. TKO by Clutch. Um, I really dug that. It's a strawberry lemonade, so I immediately started doing strawberry lemonades. And then everything just kind of blew up from there after I did a couple videos on DIY. Everybody wanted more DIY. Uh, how long does it usually take to get into the swing of things when you start DIY? A um, couple weeks. A couple weeks. Um, depends on how hard you go at it. Um, you know, you might, you might nail it your first try. Um, but really understanding DIY takes a long time, really understanding why things are, why things are doing what they do. It, that takes a lot longer, but you can, you can get pretty solid at, at putting something together in a couple weeks. Thank you, Shendo. Polar Blast is weaker than WS23 and it's half culotta, but it doesn't have the nasty culotta off note. Yeah, whatever it is, it I per, polar blast. If I'm gonna throw something in, it's gonna be polar blast. Um, trying for a granola taste or granola taste. Any yellow fruit recipe? TPA mango passion fruit and black tea. Uh, any hints of backing that up? What is a what is geranol? Andre Roth. I don't know what geranol is. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. What is geranol? According to Wikipedia, geranol is a United States trademark name for various dietary supplements, past and present. That's not what I was looking for. Um, Rose Palmarosa Citronella. Um, Flavor Art Rose, then? Flavor Art Rose? <laughs> I'm waiting on bacon to arrive. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it, Daedalus. Bacon's going to ruin, it's going to ruin everything. It's going to ruin everything you put it in. Do not use WS23 at 5%. I agree. More like a half percent It's a good place for, or lower for WS23. What's up, Chevy? How you doing, man? That reminds <laughs> every time I see him. Uh, are you going to post this vid? Yes, Jeffrey. This video will post. You seem oh you seem to be the last volume based mixers. Uh, why no scale? I've got a scale. It's right here. I mix with the scale all the time. Um, I just think that it's cheaper. It's cheaper for someone starting out to pay five bucks for some syringes with some blunt tip needles on them. It's cheaper that way. So that's the reason I still do it on video. Um, I'm always, I, I, I will keep doing it 
until uh, everybody tells me that nobody starts with syringes. Because sy syringes are the cheapest way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, and that way you're not investing heavily in a, in a scale. Because, I mean, it's not like 30 bucks for a decent scale is all that expensive. But it can be really expensive for somebody. Whereas, you know, five bucks for some syringes that you can just kind of rinse out with water and then go back and use it again. Um, you know, that's, it's a way cheaper, it's a way cheaper way for somebody to start up. That's the reason I still do it on videos. Uh, I will mix 100% of the time with scale on scale though, when someone tells me, or when people tell me that nobody mixes with syringes when they start out anymore. Uh, going to make a good yogurt vape layer with different yogurts or is Greek yogurt good by itself? Greek, both the Greek yogurts, the Flavora and the TFA Greek yogurts are both excellent by themselves. You don't need to layer anything into them except for maybe a cream to help uh, up the creaminess. I'm trying to get my grape gum. I have juiciness of grape big league chew. What can I use to give it that juiciness? That would be, and what would be the best grape? Um, probably TFA grape juice is probably closest. It tastes just like grape juice, which is going to give you that artificially, that artificial grape flavor. And then, um, juiciness. I mean, it's a pretty juicy flavor by itself. Um, you could try slipping a little bit of coconut into the back to help keep it, help keep everything moist. But you need to be aware that the coconut's there and account for it. But it will, like a half percent of either of the flavor of coconuts would do that, would give you uh, a moister vape. You just have to account that there's that there's coconut in it and hide it. Um, singers are great if you like to wash syringes. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind at this point. It's just kind of a just kind of a zen activity for me, Dimlin. Started with a liquid barn kit. There's way worse places to go than the liquid barn kit rack. Uh, I use a scale in 50 mils. So, yeah, perfect. I love my scale and my milk frother. Mix it up real good. Yeah, I got a milk frother here too. Got a scale and a milk frother. Look. We're on the same page. Yeah. I use, I use both quite a bit. Uh, when I'm not doing eye contact. Fresh, do you know the geranium flowers? Yes, I know a geranium flower. Uh, roses and violets. You use violet candy and uh, flavor at rose, TPA violet candy if you wanted then. Not TPA rose, flavor at rose. Flavor at rose is the one you want to go with. What's up, Adam Polarzik? How you doing, brother? Exactly, Shrek. No good eye contact with the frother. It's all about that eye contact. Everybody dies for the eye contact. Uh, you're welcome, Andre. Anything else? Any other questions here? Any other questions here? Eye contact makes you weak in the knees. Makes me weak in the knees, too. Just imagine all those people out there just staring and drooling. It's fantastic. Any other questions, everybody? Any other questions about your recipes before I sign off? Still a little eye contact yesterday? That's all right. No, you're fine for stealing eye contact. Take all you want. Take all all you want. It's the beard that gets you. <laughs> I have too many questions. I just keep on keep on asking. Keep on asking all the shows. I will uh, I will do my best to keep answering. Thank you for all the information. No problem. No problem, everybody. That's like I said. I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and do these periodically throughout the week when I'm. Um, just periodically throughout the week, so you, there, there's not going to be any notice except for I drop the I drop the link in the in the Facebook groups. That's going to be the that's going to be the only notice in your notification when it's the notification from YouTube. That'll be the only only notifications you get that I did it. But I'm going to try and do more just to just to kind of give that basic DIY help um, help people with recipes, help people first getting into it. Because um, that the DIY for beginners series, it's a lot of fun, but uh, it's it's tough for me to film. It's tough for me to film. So I will try and do I will try and do more. Of the, I will try and do more of these. Everybody, try and do more of these. Just jumping on when I can. 
when I've got a free moment. So nights that you know I'm not on shows or even after I'm on shows, um, I might jump in and do something. Probably not tomorrow. Noted, noted goes pretty late. So, but you know, other nights of the week, just there you go, there you go. You think uh, of a way to save those sessions? Would be really nice to listen to the game later. I really like your voice. Thanks, Andre. Um, I don't like my my own voice, but um, yeah, I don't like my own voice at all. But uh, yeah, I uh, these are this one that that last one is not going to the last one didn't stay live because I was listening to music. Um, this one will stay. This one will stay live. This will be available as soon as it uploads. So it'll be be here in a little bit. It, you know, here in a little bit. Thanks, Dustin. Thanks. I, I like I like helping folks. I like helping folks. Oh, thanks, Paul. No problem, brother. No problem. All right, everybody. I'm gonna bounce on out of here. I'm gonna bounce on out of here. Uh, probably have a little snack and hit the hay. But uh, have snickerdoodle recipe that seems dry. Have two percent TFA marshmallow to moisten it. Is there anything else I can do? Same thing, coconut. Um, the the uh, flavor of coconuts work really well at moistening things. You just got to keep your percentages really low, John. Thank you, O.R. Church. Everybody, go do the flavor survey if you haven't yet. If you've got friends that haven't done it, tell them to do it too, even if they don't vape. And then you can coach them through the answers. Everybody, be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate, be good for this community. I will see you on that next video. Uh, tomorrow, Fresh from the Kitchen, everybody. See you on Fresh from the Kitchen. Bye. Let's, let's give Brian a hard time. Bye.